welcome to Christian worship in God's house at St. John's. We gather together for this first Sunday in Advent and begin a new year in the Christian church year calendar. We join in divine service setting three. Uh, it begins for us on page 184 of our hymnals, or you may follow along in your worship folder. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O oh, Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserved your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them and sincerely repent of them, and I pray you of your boundless mercy and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor, sinful being. Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We sing together our intro. It is printed in our service folder. The Lord be with you. We 
pray together the collect of the day as printed in your service folder. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come, that by your protection we may be rescued from the threatening perils of our sins and saved by your mighty deliverance. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. The Old Testament reading appointed for this first Sunday in Advent uh, is recorded in the 33rd chapter of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell securely. And this is the name by which it will be called, The Lord is our righteousness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We speak responsibly, the gradual is printed in your worship folder. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The epistle reading is recorded in the third chapter of Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians in the New Testament. What thanksgiving can we return to God for you? For all the joy that we feel for your sake before our God, as we pray most earnestly night and day, that we may see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, as we do for you so that he may establish your hearts blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand as we sing the Alleluia and for the reading of the Holy Gospel. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 21st chapter. Jesus said, And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity, because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to thee, o Christ. We 
join together in the common confession of our Christian faith, we use the words of the Nicene Creed. They are printed for you on page 191 or the inside back cover of your hymnal. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. We sing our hymn of the day. It is hymn 350, Come Thou Precious Ransom, Come, hymn 350. 